She did um, say that, that the Scottish Government would like to go further in terms of um, re restrictions on uh, um, businesses, particularly uh, hospitality venues, but they need more support from the Treasury. What Do you yeah. think there should be more support from Rishi Sunak, well, I, a furlough scheme? I, I think there's a bit of politics being played in there, and that it did annoy me. Um, going back to the point, I think she communicated well, and it just, I just got so annoyed towards the end of that when she turned effectively, and she actually got angry at some of the journalists that were there, which I thought was really quite inappropriate. She turned in it, and she turned it into a constitutional issue. And it, it's just not true. For one thing, the Scottish Government has got lots of money it can access. The Auditor General this week pointed out there's £200 million yet of previous COVID money that they haven't spent. Um, but even then, the Treasury did make clear very quickly they can bring money forward and basically they're going to deal with it and they'll wrap it up. The Scottish Government has got man room to manoeuvre and does need to, like any other government, need to make decisions. I know it's just made its budget, um, but the reality is when issues come along, you do have to change gear. The reality is the Treasury is going to step in. We're, it's you pretty so? clear they are, and they have to. The Scottish Government can do so much. The Scottish Government can be there initially, uh, but the Treasury will need to step in if, if there's going to be support there. I mean, some of the stuff Nick Nairn was saying, it's just devastating. And the reality is we don't want people not working, but we do need to make sure they're supported. Yeah. OK, let's leave it there and move on.